Hey YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino and I'm drinking this beer here from Sawdust City Brewing Company. This is a can conditioned saison. There's no way of knowing is what it's called. This can conditioned saison is 5.5% alcohol by volume. This is actually becoming a more uh, relevant thing lately is can conditioning. A lot of breweries are starting to do it. Um... What do we have here? Water, pure filtered water, uh, sorry, pure Muskoka water, Pilsner malt, wheat malt, uh, flaked wheat, and Munich, uh, Munich 2, hops, uh, it just says ale, uh, Ella maybe? Yeah, Ella. Sorry, my eye, the, the, this baby blue on white writing, really bad for my eyes. Yeast, Belgian, uh, Belgian Saison 2. Other grains of paradise, lemon, uh, orange zest. Okay, so basically, your average thing here, uh, yeah, original gravity, IBU is 15. Grains of paradise are the only thing that's in this that I wouldn't have expected. Um, so can conditioned. Ooh, look, it's actually coming up a little bit out of the can. It is becoming more popular. It doesn't mean that I've actually had many things that are can conditioned. Um, I didn't know how a can would hold up to uh, slight fermentation happening inside it still. Obviously it worked well, and I mean this is a pretty easy to squish can, so it's not like it's anything special. And by that I mean any different can than usual. Checking for a crown. I think uh, I can't tell if that's a crown or not, so I won't say if it's crown holdings or not. But super clear. I don't know if there's anything still in the bottom. Uh, yeah, okay, there's some floaties in there. Now it's not getting as clear. So it's clear until I dump it all in. And then it's going to have some haze. I mean, there's a little bit of haze up here, super clear down here. Once I pour the rest in, it'll have that haze, which will be great. It'll look good. Nice golden color, but with the haze, the golden color doesn't matter to me. Head is beautiful, and it's making big tunnels in and all that. Not really much of a snap, crackle, pop, which makes me amazed that the tunnels are forming so quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Almost all in, guys. Almost all in. There's just a little bit left. Let's swirl it around. There's no way of knowing from the sawdust city. It actually it looks beautiful. I mean, yeah, this is a stout glass, but that looks great. That does. It really looks nice. I mean, if that was put in front of me, I'd be okay with it. I know it's still the macro lager color of uh down here at the bottom, but up here where it's thicker and there's actually more of the sediment floating, it actually does have that Belgian-esque look down here in the in the bright golden see-through part. Not so much, but whatever. Smell. Okay, you're getting you're getting the lemon and the orange zest. You're getting a little bit of a peppery scent. You're getting a little bit of a you're getting a little bit of fruitiness, a banana touch in there. So peppery, peppery, lemon, orange, little touch of bananas in there. Uh, now the greens of paradise are, the greens of paradise, whenever they're in a beer, I seem to smell almost like perm chemical. Um, my mother used to have a uh, hair salon in the basement and I had a bed bedroom in the basement. So whenever she'd perm somebody, I'd wake up to that smell. And it's not like, oh my god, it's perm chemical, but there's just a little tang, a little tang in in any beer that I drink that has a grain of paradise in it that seems to remind my mind of perm chemical, and I can't get over that. And like a little cinnamon touch in there too. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Okay, super soft super soft
very easy to drink. It just slides right down your throat. A little bit of that like bubble gum flavor in there. You get a bit of the you get a bit of the lemon. The orange zest is there. It's giving you a little bit of that background bitterness. Tiny touch of like a, a weedy forefront. Uh, just just neutral greens up at the forefront. And that's really it. I mean, there's no hop taste really to speak of. Other than the bitterness from the zest, I'm not really getting much more. Um, that bubblegum, bubblegum cinnamony taste is very subtle. That grainy weediness is there. It's a soft beer. It's, it's light bodied. Uh, all in all, this is an easy drinking beer. If it was another like 1% lower, I'd be in love with it because it would be a sessionable saison. Well, it still is for a guy like me, but, um, at a 10 on this saison, I don't know, a 775, I actually really like this. It's a very tasty little beer. Thank you guys for watching. There's no way of knowing from Sawdust City. There was no way of knowing I was going to chug that beer. Bye.